Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick, or The Notorious Fantasy, and in today's video, we're going to be going in-depth into my week number 15 must-start and must-sit quarterbacks and tight ends for the 2022 fantasy football season. But before we could get into things, I would like to ask that if you guys are new to the channel and you do end up enjoying today's video, that you please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, whether you are new to the channel or not, please make sure that you do leave a like on today's video. It would help me out a ton. If you want to follow me on Twitter, please do so at Natal. Notorious FNTSY. Today's video is being sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. We're going to be talking about it a little bit later. So without further ado, let's get into my week number 15, must start and must sit quarterbacks and tight ends. We begin with the must-start category at the quarterback position with Trevor Lawrence of the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the Dallas Cowboys this week at home in Jacksonville. Week number 14, up against the Tennessee Titans in Tennessee. Trevor Lawrence absolutely carved that defense up. Quarterback number one on the week, having 30 completions on 42 attempts for 368 yards and three touchdowns, as well as three rushes for seven yards and a touchdown. So he had four total touchdowns up against the Titans defense. In his last four games, he has scored over... Over 20 points in three of those games and his only down game was up against the Lions which is a game that he got hurt in and in the last five games he has scored over 16 points in every single game so he's also been very consistent the Dallas defense does rank first in past DVOA but frankly based upon Lawrence's body of work as of recently I will blindly trust Trevor Lawrence to be able to play up against the Cowboys again they're great defense in the NFL and allow this game to be a tit for tat high scoring back and forth a game and elevating Trevor Lawrence to potentially be a top three quarterback on the week next up we move to my other must start quarterback A.A. Ron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers going up against the LA Rams at home in Lambeau Field the Packers were on by week number 14 so we got to go ahead and hop in the time machine and look back towards week number 13 for his stats in week 13 up against Chicago in Chicago the team that he owns, of course, 18 completions on 31 attempts for 182 yards and a touchdown, three rushes for four yards. Now, I know going into this season, the LA Rams were this big, bad, scary defense, but uh, we're 15 weeks in the season and they ranked 23rd against the pass in DVOA. Now, I understand that Aaron Rodgers hasn't been the best this season, right? And he's coming off of two fucking MVP caliber seasons. He won the MVP in back to back seasons. So, of course, a bit of a down year. People are going to look down on Aaron Rodgers. But he's coming out of the bye. Probably did some ayahuasca to get his mind right. And I think up against the LA Rams defense in prime time that Aaron Rodgers is going to show out and potentially finish inside the top eight at the quarterback position this week. I really think Aaron Rodgers is going to put up his best game of the year this week up against the LA Rams. Next up, we move to the tight end position with the must starts with Evan Ingram. Easy E, tight end of the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the the Dallas Cowboys. Funny enough, Aaron Rodgers was actually Mike White, but now they're playing Zach Wilson. No bueno, no bueno. So Evan Ingram, week 14 at the Tennessee Titans, tight end number one in half PPR, 11 receptions on 15 targets for 162 yards and two touchdowns, two straight games of over seven targets. And again, I understand that the Dallas defense ranks first up against the pass via DVOA, but I really believe strongly in Ingram at this point in the season. I understand that he's one of those boom or bust tight ends, but at the end of the day, when I believe deep down that Evan Ingram has the upside to be a top three tight end, if everything goes right, again, I really believe deep down this is going to be a high-scoring tit-for-tat, high-scoring affair. If that doesn't end up happening, then probably Trevor Lawrence and Evan Ingram are both going to shit the bed. But again, I believe this is going to be a high-scoring game that Evan Ingram is going to see around six, seven, eight targets in this game. And as long as he doesn't go back to his old ways of dropping the football, this guy could take a dump on the chest of the Dallas Cowboys. Next up, we move to the final must-start player of today's video before we pivot into the must-sits with Chigozium Akankuwu of the Tennessee Titans going up against the LA Chargers in LA. His nickname is Chig. This guy 
is awesome. Very, very fun to watch. The dude is just a fucking wrecking ball out there who has great hands. Week 14 up against the Jaguars, tight end number two. In half PPR, six receptions on six targets for 45 yards and a touchdown, three straight games of five or more targets. It appears that he is a key piece in this offense. Now, I understand that Traylon Burks might play. He might not play on Sunday, but ultimately, even if he does end up playing, I still do believe that Chig is going to be involved in in this offense's game plan, and I think this should be a relatively high-scoring game, which would mean that the Tennessee Titans are going to have to throw the ball, right? Because the LA Chargers offense, I know at points there has been a bit of a topsy-turvy kind of season, right? A rocky road for the Chargers, right? We've seen them play like absolute dog shit, and then we've seen them elevate up against the Dolphins, right? They look good. So the Chargers are going to put up points, and the Titans are going to have to try to come back into this game. Now, obviously, the Chargers defense is also Dick Cheese against the run. So maybe Derrick Henry just rushes for 200 yards. But I thought that would be the case last week. And we saw a heavy dosage of Chig. So, again, Chargers defense ranks 13th against the pass. I'm not too worried about that, though. I still do think that Chig will be able to get it done here in this spot. But before we pivot on into the must-sit quarterbacks and tight ends, I would like to give you guys a quick word for our friends and our sponsor over at DraftKings Sportsbook. Now, if you're a brand new user to DraftKings Sportsbook, you can click on the link in the video description down below and bet $5 on any sport pregame money line from now until December 30th. You will win $150 in free bets if your bet wins. So I'm going to throw it on the screen right now. I think you guys should be navigating to the college basketball tab because they have the biggest favorites. The biggest favorite for today, Tulsa minus 4,000 versus Mississippi Valley tonight. Make sure you bet $5 on that and you'll receive $150 in free bets if your bet wins. All you got to do is be a new user and click on the link in the video description. Also important to note that if you live in Maryland, you will actually receive $200 in free bets. So now we pivot to the must sit category here, beginning with Mac Jones up against the loss. Vegas Raiders in Viva Las Vegas. Week 14 at Arizona, 24 completions on 35 attempts for 235 yards and an interception, as well as having five rushes for negative one yards. In 10 games, 10 games this season, he has scored over 20 fantasy points just once. He only averages 11 Point three fantasy points per game. Now, I know, Nick, this is a wet dream matchup. The Raiders' defense is absolutely putrid against the pass. They rank 32nd against the pass via DVOA. But I don't give a fuck. I don't give a flying fuck that the Raiders' defense is so bad because Mac Jones is equally as bad. The play calling is fucking atrocious from Matt Patricia and this Patriots offense, so I don't expect one bit, even in this amazing matchup, uh, I really don't think Mac Jones has it in him to have a solid performance. At number two, we have Andy Dalton, the red rifle of the New Orleans Saints, going up against the Atlanta Falcons. Now, this is another case where people are going to talk themselves into Andy. Oh, wow, the, the Falcons are the 29th ranked pass defense in DVOA. Let me go ahead and play Andy Dalton. And then you're going to play Andy Dalton. And then you are going to get the shit beat out of you by the fact that Andy Dalton will probably just score like 12 points. Saints were on by in week 14. So we got to look back towards week number 13 for Dalton stats. Week 13 up against a not-so-hot Bucks defense. Quarterback 21, 20 completions on 28 attempts for 229 yards and a touchdown. One rush for one yard. Andy Dalton has not done much this season. And again, people are going to galaxy brain Oh, I, I, you're going to think that you're in the playoffs and you're going to win with Andy Dalton as your starting quarterback? That ain't going to work, pal. Finally, we move to the tight end position here. Tyler Higby of the LA Rams going up against the Green Bay Packers in Green Bay. Week 14 versus the Raiders at home in LA. Tight end 26 and a half PPR, two receptions on three targets for 11 yards. He hasn't scored over 10 points since week number 10. Week number 10 was a while ago at this point. Baker didn't seem to look at him much. And even with a bad wide receiver core where 2-2 two, two Atwell, Van Jefferson, those are the guys, Higby still isn't getting enough targets. He's not getting any attention. And to kind of put a cap on this take, the Cheesehead Packers rank 8th against the pass in DVOA. Doesn't sound like the best of matchups for Mr. Tyler Higby. Final tight end here. This is technically two tight ends. Foster Moreau. And Darren Waller of the Raiders going up against the Patriots. Whoever gets the start. Week 14 at LA. Tight end 43 from Burrow. One target or zero receptions. 
Waller could be back this game, as well as Hunter Renfro. Patriots ranked fourth against the pass. This game reeks of a Derek Carr downfall game where he plays like absolute horseshit. Foster Moreau is incredibly unreliable anyways, and if Hunter Renfro's back and Darren Waller, I just don't want anything to do with these tight ends here. I have had an epiphany since I recorded the tight end starter sit video. Talking about all the tight ends on Notorious Fantasy. Even though Darren Waller is this great tight end, I, I just can't trust anything that this Raiders offense is rolling out at this point in the season. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you ended up enjoying, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as hit that like button. It would help me out a ton. If you want to follow me on Twitter, please do so at NotoriousFNTSY. If you have any questions about week number 15, please ask down below in the comment section. Make sure you check out our sponsor of today's video, DraftKings Sportsbook. And since the fantasy season is almost over, if you guys want to go ahead and start playing DFS, there are two slates this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, the three-game slate, and then the Sunday 10-game slate, I believe it is. Make sure you take advantage. Click on the link in the video description. You will get three days free. Three days for free of all of our NFL DFS offerings if you're a new user on Stochastic. So make sure you take advantage of that. I love DFS. I play it every single week. Make sure you guys take advantage of it again. Free. I love you guys all. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, good morning!